Okay, welcome all for the quick answers to say goodbye for the today's interactive session. Yes, what is your answer, doctor? Question number 21, please punch your answers ruthlessly. Yes, open angle or closed? 21? You like to propose UVI it is? Yes, Dr. Aditi said open angle glaucoma, Vizag said closed angle glaucoma. So, shall we open up the answer? UVI it is. Basically, how will you differentiate? That's right. In the fellow eye, hazy cornea, they are the important clues. That's right. Now, Question number 22, who is going to give me the correct answer? Prodromal stage B, that's right. Even our Guntur, Tirupati, Tirupati gave two, no, Tirupati said A, incipient. No, Tirupati says A, Guntur says correctly, even Vizag also says B, which is correct. 23, what is your answer? That's right. Congenital glaucoma. Most of the people answering the same. Dr. Aditi Guntur, everyone says it is congenital glaucoma. What is your answer? You like to say D? Cranial nerve palsy? Uh, don't you think Joster ophthalmicus by very name can involve one of the ophthalmic nerve division of trigeminal? Okay. Guntur says C, uveitis, Hyderabad, Hyderabad is Amir Pet, they say C, yeah, Karim Nagar, Vaisak, Tirupati, everyone feel it as B like you, which is correct, it won't lead to any vitreal hemorrhage, it lead to numbular keratitis, uveitis and cranial nerve palsy, where you do not see bilateral ptosis. Myotonic dystrophy is your answer. Most of the people as I expected said Marfan. Do you think in Marfan do we see? Why do we need to have ptosis? Lenticular dislocation will be there. Ptosis is eyelids, no doctor? Yeah? So that is reason. Uh, some of you have some friends from Vaisak Tirupati. SP is from which place? Srikakulam. They say C. Yes. It is the marfan you do not find uh, ptosis. Laterally downward and unable to look up or medially. Guntur says simplest answer, oculomotor. I think everyone will crack this correctly. Now 27. Right occipital, left occipital or frontal? Let me check. Gunter students say left to frontal. Thirupati says right occipital. Yes, any other answer? Karim Nagar also agrees with Thirupati saying it is right occipital. But it is the right frontal which is important for the left sided lateral gaze. Now elderly man, heart disease, sudden loss of vision. Excellent. We get a scud missile like answer both from Guntur, Vaisag and our Nampali student. Except Tirupati thinking it as CR Vivo. Vivo or Evo? Evo is correct. Central retinal artery occlusion. In diabetic retinopathy, what you don't see? Guntur says arterial dilatation. Vaisang also agrees. Dr. Aditi, Tirupati, Karim Nagar, everyone agrees. That's right. All the remaining things you see microaneurysm, retinal hemorrhage, and neovascularization. What happens in vitamin B12 deficiency? Binasal or bitemporal or heteronemous or centrosecal. Guntur correctly punches the answer. 
as always. So also the Vaisag and Tirupati. Very favorite question of examiner, stock question, centricycle, we should not forget in vitamin B12 deficiency. This kind of questions we do wrong, we are stamped, we will be massacred in a bloodless way by the competition. Okay, no problem. Optic neuritis, what do you find? Optic neuritis. Um, pupillary reflex won't be decreased, you mean, in optic neuritis. Just now we studied, no? Afferent pupillary defect in optic neuritis can affect the pupillary reflex. Yes, doctor? Everybody say D, which is not right. Electro retinogram will be abnormal. When will evoked potential will be abnormal? Even that can be abnormal. And that is abnormal, not uh, retinogram. Because evoked potential tests the optic nerve, no? Nobody proposed C. Abnormal visual evoked response is expected in optic neuritis, not uh, uh, electro retinogram. Hmm? Now, chalky white optic disc on fundus. Any guess? C is the guess. Okay, let me check. Guntur says syphilis. Uh, because they think rubella will cause not syphilis. Vizak says Leber. Rihon says post papillary edema, just like you. All of them can cause, but not traumatic injury of the optic nerve doesn't lead to chalky white optic disc on the fundus. In one hippal lindo, other than retinal angioma, where else you find? This you should answer correctly. It leads to polycythemia because of erythropoietin secretion. Very good. Everyone correctly answers it. Cerebellum. Cerebellar hemangioblastoma along with retina is what you see as a combination in von Hippel Lindau. 18 year old boy typically got injured, no perforation, but there is hyphema. From where is the hyphema coming from? So, the Guntur students say circulus iridis major, like you. But Karim Nagar, Chiranjeevi, SP, they don't agree. And they also agree. They also are saying iridis major. But hyphema comes from the vessels of iris or iridis? Uh, uh, of course, actually, they are more or less interchangeable terminology. Uh, this question itself is not well framed. Okay. Now, what is your answer for this? 25 year old, sudden painless loss of vision, no history of trauma, no fundal glow, anterior segment is normal. What is your answer? You like to say optic atrophy. That's the reason in fundoscopy nothing is seen. Everyone say, um, Dr. Aditi proposes vitreous hemorrhage. Rihan says glaucoma attack. And uh, Thirupati says the same. Guntur, like you, says vitreous hemorrhage, which is true. Without any trauma history, also vitreous hemorrhage can spontaneously happen. If there's a calcification in the globe, what is your answer? I think everyone will punch a slapping answer for this. That's right. Retinoblastoma. Everyone is correct. If there is an enlarged corneal nerve, you like to say B? Happy simplex? Doesn't lead to enlarged corneal nerve. Okay. Everyone do not say the same. Vizag says A. Chiranjeevi also agrees. 
Karim Nagar and Aditi proposed neurofibromatosis. Herpes simplex keratitis, in fact, is not uh, the one which is responsible. That's right. Safe strategy, where do you use? Oh, I think everyone will slap an answer correctly. That's right. It is trachoma, which is the correct answer. Diabetes, vitreous hemorrhage. What is the main reason for that? Guntur says A. Aditi says A. Vizag proposes retinal detachment. You also say the same? Vitreous hemorrhage? Neovascularization is much more a likely cause where the vessels can bleed. Maybe vitreous hemorrhage may predispose to retinal detachment. But the vitreous hemorrhage primarily is because of the source of the bleeding coming from the neovascularization. So that brings us to the end of a good day's work in ophthalmology for the NEED PG exam. So read well doctor, tomorrow we will have two quizzes like this and uh, some more high yield topic review. That's how we will take the things enthusiasm forward. Thanks to all. <coughs>